Hey, it's Mopar Keith, and are you pre-lubing your Chrysler engines the correct way? So the way you want to pre-lube the engine is your camshaft has a hole every 90 degrees. Holes, and these two holes connect. And then there's another set of holes, and those journals correspond with the galleys here. And there's only one hole in the cambering journals. And right here is a main journal that goes to your cylinder head, and or galley, not journal, sorry, galley. This is the galley way that goes to the cylinder head. And then right here is another galley way that goes to your cylinder head. So when the hole is exposed and the holes basically line up, that's when you'll have full oil to your cylinder heads. Now, these holes right here will be exposed as everything rotates. So I've got Jerome here, he's gonna turn the engine over. Now we've already got oil pressure in the engine. So I did pre-lube it already, but you have to get the oil lines or the oil holes lined up for oil to flow freely through all these parts. So small block, clockwise, big block, counterclockwise. So here we go. Recording, camera recording. Okay. All right, so we've got oil coming out of the lifter holes right now. Okay, so one thing I will add is that on these TA engines, um, it's a little bit more difficult to get the oil to come all the way through the rocker arm and squeeze all the way out to here. So unlike the stamped steel rockers, you can usually get oil coming through your uh, push rod holes like immediately. But this is what we found is, is it'll come out the rocker arm stand so I can see it coming out the bottom over here sometimes it doesn't come out the top like you think it would until the engine's actually running so we can go a little bit more um, the other thing you can notice is if we get to that right spot the oil pressure would momentarily when you pre-lube this big block oil will literally just flow out of here like a river so it flows through the rocker shaft and comes up through here and it just fills this whole cavity up and then runs off on these ta engines with these offset rockers, they've got uh, spiral cuts in the shaft and you have to have these shafts in the correct way. And I know they're in the correct way. So, and then we, we did see some oil coming out of these, but it just, it's a slower pace than like on a big block. And then after we messed with it for a while, we did get oil to come out of these. So it's just slow, slowly supposed to drip down. It's not supposed to spray out because otherwise it would hit the valve cover. But pre-lubing it, you gotta have it done. And on the Chrysler's, you gotta turn the engine over so those holes line up. And then I also just recently did this 289 Ford. Uh, same situation, you put a priming tool, run the oil pump in the pan, and you get oil that just flows close right out the top of these uh, any questions comments let me know and uh, see if I can explain it any better but I think that pretty much gets the point across so sometimes people just uh, just throw the engine in and don't hook up the spark plugs and just crank it over and you'll get oil pressure but before I put these on the test stand I always want to make sure oil is flowing so that's it for Mopar Keith